And at that point, they, uh, they finished it all off. They put the leather mask in front of his face. And you just wonder to yourself as they're doing that, you know, how many human beings have had that same leather mask in front of their faces? They've uh, been put horribly to death. Um, and there was a, a stillness and a silence, and all of the people in the, uh, in the witness area were, were very quiet. Uh, and then you heard the noise of the electricity, and you saw, saw Nicky's body stiffen. He couldn't, of course, thrash about because he was so tightly strapped down. And, you know, there was, there was a sense of shock amongst the people watching, but then the media, you know, start scribbling notes because they've got their story to write and all that ghastly stuff. And I was just really, at this point, since I couldn't do Nicky any good, I was just watching my watch. As you saw, the seconds go by incredibly slowly as 2,400 volts of electricity are pouring through them. We had done a challenge to the electric chair that later we won, but not soon enough for Nicky. So they had that on for a set amount of time, it seemed for hours. And then you, you heard the tone go down, and that's when they have it on a different voltage. They do that for longer, and then they crank it up again, and you hear it going back up again. And all of this went on for several minutes. Um, and it seems like several hours, of course, when you're there. Ah, and then finally it came to an end and some doctor came in with a stethoscope to put it to Nicky's chest to see if, um, you know, if he was dead. And, I, and they, they did another round on him. I, f I forget exactly how it worked, uh, but it was just disgusting. And with all of this, you know, I felt like I wanted to throw up, of course. And finally they, they let us out. And you look up at the stars, because it's the middle of the night, of course, because they only do it in, in darkness, because everyone's sort of basically ashamed about the whole process. And um, you, know, you look at the stars and you say to yourself, well, has that really made the world a better place?